Today let us see some differences and similarities between MongoDB and traditional database management systems. The keyword database is same as you know with other database systems. For RDBMS tables we call it as collection in MongoDB. The sim difference is there is no schema. The RDBMS record or row is called document here and the field that is the column is called field in mongodb and the and it is a collection of key value pair the rdbms table is called collection and it has no schema that is no column name and no data type so you could get confused with this so let us see a, an example wherein we create a collection we create a database a collection and store the document with no particular specific structuring that is predefined structuring start mongod and let it be running and then click on mongo.exe this is a javascript console our first command would be show dbs which will show the already created present dbs that is admin local and test in our case i'll use admin that is use admin keyword will switch to that database you could even do show collections i'll do i'll i'll tell use company there is no database with the name company here but it will just use it we have never created it but in mongodb it will never create any database or collection until we start storing documents that's the beauty here you could just work here and still don't consume any memory here after you exit from here db is a object now it is assigned to the database company now using this db object will interact with the currently selected database now db dot our collection name would be something like i'll call it info for now so actually this is not saved yet until we save store any documents now i'll check db.info info is our collection name dot count there are no documents so it will show zero now let's insert something into our collection so that our database and then collection gets created for that we will use the method insert we already have told you we insert key value pair that is json format that's clearly the json format name i'll give the company name as apple let's take product the latest one yet to be released i'll call it iphone 5s EMPNO remember whatever you write inside these quotes will be treated as string i'll write number also inside quote which would be treated as string uh for now it's okay the prompt return that means this has been successfully saved now how could you see the stored data select the use this object db if you directly write find it will throw some error let me show you the error first so javascript execution failed this is how it shows error to do it the right way use the object db dot collection name which is info dot find it will show the records for now we have only one record to make it humanly readable use a inbuilt function for each and pass in a parameter that is print json that would print everything in a nice looking manner look it has added a, a field called underscore id which we will talk about later other things are name product and employee number which we inserted obviously i i told you that this is a javascript console so let's do some javascript here 
all the JavaScript syntax and coding is valid here. So you could write any JavaScript and interact directly with the database, Mongo database. Here I'll create a variable data. It's an object because we have empty parentheses there. That is the JSON convention. Now dot name. I'll give it a name. I'll give our company name that is Technotip. Data dot product. Educational tutorials that is video tutorials which is educational. Data dot EMP. Let, let me do something different. Uh, let me create an array here and store employee names here. So this is the advantage of not defining the schema that is not having the structure previously. So in this case we need to write employee names. In our previous record we don't have any employee names or this array itself. But in this we will have a field called EMP which is an array which stores two employee names. Now I'll I'll store an object itself inside this. So data dot videos is an object. Now I'll store some key value pairs there again. Videos dot mongo. MongoDB videos. Now let me do one more data dot videos dot php php video tutorials that's enough for now in this object data we have some key value pairs inside that we have an array and also a sub object so db dot info is the collection name we will call upon save method to save this data into our collection info now we are using save instead of insert save is a higher level method it checks to see if the object we are inserting already have an underscore id field which is a primary key in mongodb document now check to see this data in json format it will show us both the records we have inserted the first one being the name apple product iphone 5 that one the second one see it already added underscore id this is an array inside our document this is an object sub object inside our document object we'll look more into this underscore id in our next video it has some in interesting concept in it so stay tuned please like this video on youtube share this video with your friends on facebook google plus linkedin twitter etc like this video on youtube stay subscribed to technotip.com and to our YouTube channel. Like this video on YouTube. Thank you.